Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. You guys are seeing this video on Friday afternoon. So happy Friday. I hope everybody had a great week. Before I get too much into this video, I just wanted to mention that I am doing something different with my lighting. So let me know what you guys think of the lighting in this video. Normally I have, I have a light right here and I have a light here. <laughs> Normally this light is in the corner there, but I have it like next to me instead. So we're kind of getting like equal light on both sides, if that makes sense. So let me know if you think that this lighting is good or I'm kind of feeling like, oh, hi. I'm kind of feeling like this may be producing more shadows than usual. So let me know your thoughts. I am always trying to adapt and adjust and make things better for you guys. So let me know what you think about this lighting or if you think this light needs to just go back up towards the top there. Okay, with that <laughs> said, I'm going to be talking about this kit here from Crafties. This is called Flowering Silks. It's a 40 by 50 and the artist is Sybil Art. Now, if you watched my video on Monday, which was a kitten chat for the project I'm working on now, I kind of mentioned that I was really disappointed in this kit and I told you guys <laughs> to come back and I would give you my full feedback and opinions on this particular kit. Now, before I get too far into talking about what I did not like, I do want to mention that this particular kit is from early, it's either from late 2020 or early 2021. This is, I believe, the last crafties in my stash. I, I picked up three or four, I can't remember now, um, kits from them and they were all the rage. They were being really hyped up on YouTube. People are talking about them on Instagram. They were a new company and I was sucked in. <laughs> Now, I do want to say that I have not purchased from Crafties since this order. Um, I am interested. I actually wanted to work through the Crafties kits in my stash before I placed another order. I try to do that with some of my um, shops that I have fewer, like I have a small amount of kits from. Obviously, from Diamond Art Club, I have so many. I'm not going to work through all of them before I'm able to purchase again. But for a kit like you know, a shop like Crafties where I have three, it's feasible to work through those three before purchasing again. So before I say anything about this kit, I'm not disgruntled enough to never purchase from them, purchase from them again. I still want to purchase from them um, and just see if they have improved at all. I really don't know. There are people who still work on their kits and still talk about them, but I feel like they're not as hyped up anymore. So, you know, take this as you will. My channel, I mention this occasionally because I don't want to seem like a Debbie Downer, but on my channel, I try very hard to be super transparent with you guys. I know that you guys appreciate it because I appreciate it from other creators. With that all said, let's talk about this kit. So I didn't like it. <laughs> I did not like working on this. I could not wait to be done. Um, I was very disappointed in the entire process. However, I do think that she came out very nice. I will go ahead and pop up a full length picture here. You're getting most of the canvas in frame, but I will pop up a picture so you can see from a distance. I do think that she came out good. I think she looks nice. And that's the experience that I've had with my other Crafties kits as well. I do think for the size, Crafties renders them very well. They're pretty, they come out nice, and I do appreciate that. However, the process for this one sucked. <laughs> and I have, like I said, I've worked on a couple of other ones and I don't remember not enjoying it. So I don't know if it's isolated to this kit or the, this batch. I really don't know. We have a visitor on the desk. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, why don't you just sit right there, Bean? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> so... Let's just start with the canvas itself. So I actually had to trim this canvas because it came to me 
all cockeyed and uneven. So I did leave the top. Now this is not as drastic as the bottom was. This was tolerable to me, but you can see that it's not cut along the line. Hopefully you guys can see that. And on the bottom, <clears throat> okay, you can be up here, but I need to be able to, perfect. That is, that's a great spot for you. This bottom here, you can see I cut it so it is crooked. There was like this much extra on the bottom. Um, same as the sides, I had to trim down the sides. Now, Crafty's ranges between, I wanna say like 35 to $50, depending on your kit. And I should not have to trim the canvas to make it look nice. And I felt like I needed to. Um, also, the canvas material doesn't really bother me. This is a traditional canvas type material. Like if you went to buy a artist canvas, which is like pulled over the bars, this is what it would feel like. Um, maybe like a little bit thinner than what one of those feels like. So it's nothing special, but it's also not awful. I don't care about the canvas material. I don't think it really affected anything that I have issues with, but I have talked to some people and I have heard from some people that they did not like the canvas material at all. I actually think that somebody commented on my video from Monday and said that they got rid of their crafties because of the canvas material. So it's not the best. You're not getting a Diamond Art Club canvas, a Craftily canvas, a Dream Designs canvas. Like you're not getting that nice canvas material for the price that you're paying. That's not a deal breaker for me, but something that I thought I would mention. The drill field itself was awful. <laughs> now, the symbols weren't bad. I do feel like there were some symbols, which we can talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, when we talk about the drills, there definitely were some symbols that repeated or were so similar that I did not appreciate particularly. And this one actually surprised me as well. But you have this block letter L and the regular letter L. They're two completely different colors, but the way that the canvas was printed made them seem similar on the canvas, if that makes sense. So the part of the canvas that has the glue and then the symbol before you lay the drill down, the colors were actually kind of close. And there was one time when I was working on the letter L and I pulled the block L and I started laying them down and I was like, something is not right here. This does not look like it's supposed to. And it was because I messed up the symbols, but I didn't love the printing, but for the most part, it was fine. I didn't have, other than that little slip up, and maybe there were a couple other symbols that were close. It wasn't a deal breaker for me either. What was a deal breaker was the poured glue. The glue on this one was not good at all. I do not remember having that problem with my other kits from Crafties, so it could just be an isolated incident to this particular kit, to the batch that it was produced in, to I don't know, it sat for a couple of years, so could that be a thing? I don't know, but I struggled with it a lot. It was super slippery. Um, Lindsay from Life with Lindsay has this tip that she talks about often when she has slippery drill fields, and she'll normally just open her plastic and lay it out for a couple, I don't know, for like a couple of hours, a few hours, overnight, whatever. And I've done that. I've talked to her about that before and I did that with this canvas and it did not help at all. Like it did not help dry out the drill field at all. So drills were slipping and sliding. Um, drills off of my drill pen just were not cooperating. Um, it was really hard to multi-place. So I just was frustrated with that. Um, as far as the drills themselves, I did touch on that one symbol that I felt like, those two symbols that I felt like were close. Um, I'm just looking. Um, these, so this sideways triangle and then the little carrot. I actually think this was a half moon, but when I was making my labels, it looked like um, 
the greater is this the greater than sign or the less than sign i don't know i'm stupid um <laughs> those two were very close in color and they were easy to mix up as well just because the printing wasn't great um i'm just taking a quick peek to see if there was anything else um the turn around <laughs> arrow i don't know what you would call that and the letter u those were quite similar and they were they weren't too similar in color, but on the canvas, they looked kind of similar. Um, I think I think that was it. At least that's what I can think of off the top of my head. Um, but I will say that these drills themselves, I will not be keeping because they were so varied in size. So some of them were super large. Some of them were smaller. Some of them were the, what seemed like should have been the right size. I just was not happy with the drill quality. Now, I did not have a lot of trash because I got so frustrated and I just wanted to be done with this kit that I stopped picking different sized drills out. I did not want to have to wait to get replacement drills from this company. I've played that game before and it was, uh, it was not fun. <laughs> um, there was a lot of, I was sent the wrong drills. I was sent a whole pack of crystals one time. Like, the communication with the company wasn't good the last time I had to do it, so I didn't want to do it again. Again, I have not spoken to them recently, so I'm hoping, praying that that has improved. If you have dealt with Crafties' as customer service lately, please let me know. They were not they were not mean or bad by any means. It was just a hassle to get the drills that I needed, so I didn't want to do that again. So I was just laying anything and everything out and we were just going with it. So when I show you my trash drills, you might be like, Laura, you just said that the drills were bad, but you have no trash. And that's purely because I was just, I didn't want to deal with it. So this is the trash that I pulled. I can't tell if you are focused or not. We have some little tiny pieces we have some oblong shaped drills um but again the drills were not great I was not very happy with them so all in all this was not my favorite kit I did not enjoy working on it I am glad that I did I'm glad to have it out of my stash it counts as a finish for the year and it has not deterred me enough to not purchase from this company again. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I would be interested in purchasing from them with their current stock um, and seeing what improvements they may or may not have made. Um, there are a couple of kits that I have seen that I'm interested in, so hopefully at some point I will make another purchase. Um, but if you have worked on a crafties recently and you've had a good experience, please let us know in the comments down below. I don't want this video to be a complete bash fest <laughs> on this um, diamond painting company because they do have licensed artwork, which we love. Um, they do have poured glue, which most of us do enjoy. Um, and they have cute artwork. So I don't want to be a complete Debbie Downer, but I do want to be transparent with you guys and let you know my experience with this project. So that is that. Um, she is pretty. I'm glad to have her done, but also glad to be done with this kit. So for my accessories, I was so excited because I have not used these containers in so long. <laughs> I feel like most of us that have been diamond painting for a long time, which this fall will be four years for me. What? That is crazy. I figured that out this morning. I was like, how long have I been diamond painting? So I went back in Amazon and I looked up the first kit that I purchased and I bought it in September of 2019. And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is that? 2019? Is it four years? 2019, 2020, 2021, 22. Yeah, four years. So it'll be four years in the fall. So these were very popular when diamond painting kind of started taking off. Uh, if you're new, you may not use these. You may have um, taken from our experience and used some of the better drill storage that's out there. But it was fun to use these again to kit up in them. Um, I did have to use two, obviously, because I just wanted all of my drills in one place. So these are on Amazon. You can get like a six pack, I think, for however much. Um, I will 
try to link them down below. My Amazon links are not affiliate, so they'll take you just directly to the listing. So I will do my best to find those. My pen is from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. This is one of my favorite hybrids. This is a flower girl blank. So we have the yellow flowers with the wood in the middle. I love this pen. This tip is from an Etsy shop and I do not know the name of them. They have changed their name since I have purchased. I purchased matching single tips and multi-placers from them, but I did not have good luck with the 3D printed multi-placers. So um, I have a tip from them. I'll try to find their, their new shop name because I cannot remember off the top of my head. And then this is just a gold metal multi-placer from Amazon. My tray is from Bella Arte Nicole. This is one of their version two trays, I believe. My putty for my multi-placer is Sunflower Starburst from Nix's Notions. My cover minder, I do not know where this is from. What are you doing? Are you okay? Sorry. <laughs> Um, I cannot remember where this cover minder is from. I will try to find it in my Etsy purchases and list it down below, but really pretty. You can see the theme I was going for. And my washi tape is from Amanda Michelle Designs. So that is this kit. I believe this is my 13th finish of the year. So I feel like I'm moving along pretty well. I'm definitely behind from last year, but I'm not trying to beat that goal because <laughs> I, I did a lot of finishes last year. So let me know your thoughts on this kit. Let me know your thoughts on crafties. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in Monday's video. Bye.